prophesied that the Messiah will come. So what they have done to, to prevent this is they have walled it up. So when we're singing this, 
here. Who is this coming through the East Gate? We're talking about a returning king who's going to punch through that thing. I just want to give you context because you could be like, what are we singing? We are singing about the victorious King Jesus and his return. Listen, there's no wall that will keep him out. They've put graves in front of this wall because for a Jew to walk across the graves would mean he would be unclean. But listen, there's no power in hell that is going to keep Yeshua from entering in this gate to come and rule and reign. When he rules and reigns on the earth, he's not going to rule and rule and reign in the White House. It's not going to be in London in Buckingham Palace. It is going to be in Jerusalem. And we got to get a world view. Who is this coming through the wall? Who is this walking over graves? It's Yeshua. Come on, let's see it. for the first time nine years ago and um, I was there right before the Feast of Trumpets and I wasn't gonna stay I was supposed to go home and I was whatever long story short I my flight got canceled and I ended up being in the land for the Feast of Trumpets which I believe is when the when Jesus is gonna return and I was walking around the city with my husband and this woman came up to me started speaking in Hebrew and I was like I don't understand and she was like are you going to marry a Jewish man are you going to marry a Jewish man she was like in my face you know are you gonna marry a Jewish man like she was mad at me wanting to make sure that I was with someone who was Jewish because she thought I was Jewish and I was like undone that trip I encountered Jesus on that trip to Israel and that's what I'm singing out of today where it's like you want to know him you know, you want to know his culture. Not because we're obsessed with the Jewish culture, but because we're obsessed with Jesus. You know, like, we want to know the spices that he ate as a child. We want to know the prayers that he prayed growing up. We want to know the traditions that he had. Not because we're going to, you know, we have to do it for our salvation, but because we're so in love with him. Because we're so in love with him because we're so in love with him and he has a dream he has a dream and a yes. storyline yes. and a history and it's actually what your calling is you know many of us have been crying out God what is my calling what am I supposed to do oh Lord what do you want for me what do you want for me and he's like I want to catch you up in my story I want to catch you up 
in my story. I want to catch you up in my story. He doesn't want you to miss it. He's waiting. I feel like he's like up a room. I've been waiting and I'm waiting for you. I've waited. And not that you guys haven't had it. I just feel like his, he's waiting. And he's like, here's my heart. Will you receive me? Will you receive me? Will you receive me? When the world has rejected the Jewish people, will you receive me? Oh, Jesus. Could you just whisper out in your own way? Because it's so personal. If you feel it, could you just whisper out in your own way, I receive you, Yeshua.
delight in you, Yeshua. I delight in you, Yeshua. I delight in you. dream now is my dream. 